Yo, what's good, peeps? This is episode 110 of the Streamers Paradise podcast. I am Hazy. We got Clutch and Bo. What's good, boys? What's good, man? What's up, everybody? <laughs> Yo, we were just sitting here clowning on you for like five minutes. Like, what, what's he doing? He knows that he's. Well, he's there's there's, like, there's right? no shot. <laughs> <laughs> there's no shot. He knows he's dead. Yeah, there's, there's he no shot. He didn't see both of these pings. He has so to many tabs pulled up. That's why I like doing that shit. So it was like I saw one ping in the background. I was like, oh shit, they're pinging me. <laughs> Yo, Uber Geek, thank you so much for the four month streak. Your leg and fire. <clears throat> Yo, um, you guys been better dads this week? Don't work in it. Yes. Learning how to get less mad. <laughs> Learning. Yeah, the football is always so tough. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't. Why? Why? What part of that gets you mad, though? I'm curious. No. You said, you said that. Uh, you said that it's um because he doesn't maybe give it his all. Is that what it is? That's what it was at, at that time. Yeah, I remember we was all talking about like there's certain points of like us getting mad as as parents and it's like little things, right? And like I was just trying to say an example as getting older. That was one example for me. Yeah, yeah. I know when he does try his best or he just doesn't want to try at all. Yo. And I was want him to try his best, basically, you know. Hell yeah, yo, Krylin, Kojak's mini me. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. No, I feel you, bro. I um. My daughter hurts is hurting herself all the time recently and like when she hurts herself i feel so terrible but like if she cries for too long i feel so overwhelmed like i want to take away that pain and i don't know how to take it away you can't take it away right she's just it's very difficult for me to understand how to how to like fix it you know yeah. Yeah, that's what comes, patience comes along, I guess, you know. Uh, that's the worst, too. Because uh, then. The pain buffering? sticks there, too, you know. Am I buffering for real? Not on my end. Yeah, not on my end. Oh my god, crying. Yeah, what's happening for him? Let's send it to Bo. Let's just send it to Bo. I don't want to do it. Uh, don't. The music should be down a little bit more now. Is that, is that better? Is the loading stopped? I hate this shit. It was a little bit, but it's not if it's, anymore. Yeah, so but if, if it's if it's not load, if it's not doing it for everybody, then it's probably not you. Yo, I have to stream in the dark, man. I don't want to stream in the light time on podcasts no more. I talk about too much shit. That's like, it's the I, I, I gotta dark. be in a dark, smoky room <laughs> from now on, like a dark, smoky room, and that's that. Just because, like, sub the subject matter is, like, I don't really want to talk about shit that is not intense anymore. Like, I want to talk about stuff that people want to talk about. And last night, uh, last week, we talked about, I talked about, like, childhood trauma and shit. And I don't really want to go back into that this week, but it was definitely something I'm glad I was sitting in the dark for. So I'm just going to stick with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Yo, Lady Sky Vader, thank you for the 200 biddies. But trust me, I'm here. I can turn this on whenever. You gotta uh, just get one small light and put it underneath you. Yeah, like, like the, are you afraid of the dark? kids? <laughs> yeah, with the flashlights. Telling stupid, scary stories that weren't scary, but. Yeah, maybe a candle. Or also work. really scary at the same time. Maybe I'll get a candle <laughs> and do a little. <laughs> do a little candle here so you There's can see bifocals this right here is my alienware light see now if i was smart i would have this the opposite way so you can see all my rgb stuff like this is a whole open case where you can see everything inside my computer and it's not, that. It's not showing like it should be showing right like that's the whole reason why i did that i did that with mine i don't know if you remember i used to have my pc right here yeah. It became so much of a headache just to try to like keep it a certain way so people can see it. I got it's like, fuck you guys. Well, I don't. I'm not really worried. Okay, about this it. thing is oh, annoying. Damn. <laughs> Get a, ha a, a hat light. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Lady Skyvader, thank you for the gift. You guys are legends. 
But yeah, so we, I just felt like it, it was here, it was bright, and like I had like RGB changing colors, and it just got really annoying. And I got to a point where I was like, all right, screw the stream if they can see this or not. I'm putting it behind me so I can see. Right. Yeah. I mean, I have like it's whatever. It's so bright over here anyway. It doesn't even matter what I try to hide. It's not letting you, you sub on. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. The music got loud again. I don't know how that happens. How does it get like get loud? Maybe she's maybe she's just higher than I am. Maybe it's her. <laughs> it should right, be it should be low though. Like, <laughs> like I'm watching the, the right now still. Oh, really? Oh, oh wow, shit, it's, it's coming, stream, it's it's coming shit, from yeah. the desktop, too. <laughs> wow, I am so bad. That's bright now. Yeah, it's going back to stream elements, so everything's jacked up again. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. I go I go back to um, Streamlabs, and everything is just fucked up. Yeah, or Streamlabs, not Streamlabs. It should, it should be lower now, for sure. I thought it was coming through just one of the... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> just one of the inputs not all of them yeah I thought it was going through one of them I didn't know it was going through two damn that's fucked up I'm sorry guys really um <laughs> let's go back 12 minutes we'll start over what's up guys AZ here no, I'm, I'm just kidding <laughs> welcome to the 110th <laughs> well, welcome to the 110th episode I mean now you guys can hear me I can't use OBS for some reason it's just not working with my computer right now it literally just red bars the entire time, and I don't know what it is. I have a new processor. I literally have a new processor. They just came and replaced it. Um, oh, they did? What happened? So, that's interesting that I didn't talk about this. So, <laughs> I yeah. have... Remember, I bought this computer with you. Um, yes. I talked to you about it. Yo, Krylin, you fucking nutcase. I'm so proud of you. That was really loud. So sorry. Um... Don't mind me, I just, uh, drank my drink, and apparently I can't drink it. Legend, let me turn the samples down a little bit. I don't know why everything's so loud today. Um, Krylin, thank you so much for the five gifted. You're a legend, bro. I appreciate you. <clears throat> so, so I was getting blue screened, right? I'm just, I'm just regular fucking playing my computer. Now, this computer is only four months old, man. Four months old. And so this is three months old at this point. And I'm doing my normal thing. And I, let me be honest when I say this, right? My stream computer, my this computer is my, let's in big air quotes, this is my work stuff, right? Like, I don't play on this shit, right? It's, it's either I'm gaming or I'm on YouTube or I'm streaming. Like, it's, it's three things, four things. It's, it's, it's the internet browser, it's Discord the app, whatever game I'm playing and the, you know, the place that it comes from, the application or whatever. But that's it, dude. That is it. My PC has not... Yo, a thousand biddies. City, I didn't even see that. Jesus. City. Thank you. I'm like looking at... Uh... Thank you. Um, so I'm sitting here playing my game one day and I get a blue screen and I went, Hmm, that's weird. Right. But I just did an update. So like, maybe that's what it is. Um, then it happened again and then it started happening more frequently. Then it was happening twice in an hour. Right. And then out of nowhere, for some reason, my, I remember I showed this to you. I shared my screen with you. My thing was running at a hundred percent. My computer yeah, yeah, yeah. for no reason right i wasn't doing anything um so i'm i call up dell because i got a fucking computer this computer i might have gotten it for i don't remember how much we even got it for we got it for way cheaper than it was, it was cheap but then it was supposed then yeah <laughs> it was expensive but it was cheap for what i was getting right like that it was like you got like a lot off the msrp for whatever sales they were running right Right, right, right. And then I ended up arguing with them and getting them down. I think I ended up with like a $3,000 tag or maybe it was 4000 I forget. I think it was 4000 But I think the computer was running at like like a $6,000 thing if we built it ourselves. MSRP, yeah. Yeah. Um, so there was a lot of discounts there. 
So there shouldn't be anything wrong with this. Why is it fucking up, right? Why is it fucking up like this? Doesn't make sense. This is a top of the line computer. The only thing that I don't have is the 128 gigabyte RAM, right? I got 64 gig instead of 128. That's the only thing that I skimped on uh, when I bought, right? And then I got the 4080 Super, not the 4090, but you told me why not to get the 4090. It doesn't make sense for what I'm doing, right? That whole thing. And it was $700 yeah, less yeah. expensive. Something crazy, right? Anyhow, I call up Dell and they have me turn something off in the BIOS. Um, I guess that was shutting down the overclocking or whatever. And then he said, we're going to take a diagnostic of this and then we're going to send ourselves the data to it or, yeah. Yeah, yeah so i gave them control of my computer and let them do all that stuff because i'm not dealing with it right it's dell it's safe they want what's best for my computer that's why i'm paying you here you go um they took the diagnostic and they said my processor was um malfunctioning like it was uh i guess they had some bad intel processors going around yeah yeah there was a. Uh... And I don't know, so I, I I just heard about this. I think like within a, within a month, a lot of them are over volting and like overheating and having this issue. And I think it's like 13 gen and 14 gen, or it might just be 14 gen. But I'm, I'm not a. Yeah. So this is something that they said they're having a problem with, and they're gonna come out and they're gonna replace it. So they sent the fucking guy here. It took them two days, to, bro. They were here in two days. I called. They weren't here the next day. They were here the next morning. Like, they were here quick as fuck. They came in. Interesting. Uh, right where my computer's plugged in, just put it on its side, took it out, replaced it. Just like that. And then he sat here and waited, and he was like, uh, you got this nice... He was a... He was a... He was from Romania. He was like, you got this nice setup. He goes, let's give it a stress test. <laughs> right. I mean, fucking, he's you know, like, some of those motherfuckers they know what they're doing i had a guy there's a guy that does this stuff for like a lot of counter-strike pros is uh is greek that's funny he was like yo let's let's let's, let's do, the, do a stress test right and i fucking i threw on call of duty and i jacked up everything way up high and uh he sat here for like five minutes and was like you know if i leave and it fucks up you know, then you got to call me back. Let me wait here and see what happens. So the only thing I didn't do is try OBS. I don't know what the fuck OBS could, could be, like, bugged out with. Why would that be a bug with OBS and my computer? Like, why isn't it working? That's the next thing I got to fix it because I don't know why it's not working. I had to download Streamlabs to, to stream. That's weird. I don't know why it wouldn't be working either. Try to uninstall it? Restall it? I didn't do that, no. Because you want to know why I didn't do that? Because the last time I uninstalled it, the fucking thing got corrupted on its way out. And I had to... Uh, well, I didn't buy the program. I vaguely, I vaguely remember that issue, too. Yeah. So I had that issue with OBS, and Chaos gave me... Chaos Edge, one of the <laughs> other one of the other founders of the group, um, <laughs> who's just not really around anymore, but he has the FBI tech role. Um, He's, I actually talked to him yesterday. Talk doing? to him here and there. I don't even see him playing games no more. No, he he does not talk to him for like he he uh, hops on his phone sometimes just just to chat. He he hops into games like once in a blue moon, but uh, he's he's like big into camping. So it's like, like all summaries they're always camping and when the um, and games don't mix time. with real camping. Right, no. real camping games don't mix. I remember the first time I went real camping. I said, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> I'm never doing this again. I'm bringing fucking entertainment. With so the next time I went camping, I brought a TV. I am not the type of guy that wants to sit outside and listen to the crickets and shit unless I'm on that's, mushrooms or acid. God, same, that's, bro. That's <laughs> glamping, bro. That's, that's called glamping. What is the purpose of going out and pretending to be a fucking... in the 1910? You know, <laughs> the early 90s. What's the point of that? Why do you want to go outside and shit in the fucking bushes? What's the purpose? I get it. You want to go catch a fish, you want to hunt. That's fine. Cool. Why can't you sleep with the comforts and amenities of today's day and age? What gives you... Does it give you power to be uncomfortable? Does it make you feel more uh, like a man? 
Uh, some people just like it, man. I, I don't mind. I like, guess not something I do often. You don't like, I, it. I like nobody, it. I don't mind it. It's nice. Nobody likes it. Likes it. I, I've got... Nobody likes it. Yeah. Nah. I, I, I call bullshit. <laughs> I call fucking bullshit that anybody likes camping. This is going to be part of my stand up routine now. Camping is a fucking bullshit sport. Okay? It doesn't. It's nobody sport. likes it. It's a sport. <laughs> That's a, it's an extreme sport. I grew up that. It's an extreme sport if you go too late in the season. That's for sure. No one likes Holy camping. I, I don't care what you say. I don't care what My you girl's say. dad, she lives at the, and he lives by the Pocono, so it's like all like woods area, like basically where people camp at. It's cool to like chill out there, like he has a nice hammock, so I like to like sit there and lay there for like a good twenty minutes. But after that, I'm over that shit. I want to go back inside. <laughs> I want to go watch TV. Like I can't yeah. stay outside, bro. Right. I, don't see, I don't. I don't see the enjoy in it either. Yo, I'm um, I'm obviously kidding. I grew up, I grew up camping, and I had a lot of fun doing it. But now today. Like at this age, As an yeah, no <laughs> shot. There's no shot. Like I, I might go camp out with my kid as she gets older. Like if that's what she wants to do. But I was gonna say if Gianna no is, you're gonna go. So, fucking I mean. way that I just want to be out sleeping in the fucking wilderness for no reason. This guy's gonna be, this guy's gonna be watching YouTube videos on how to set up a tent soon. Nah, they're all like, you pop them out and they just poof. Yeah, that was pretty. It's a pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I can't get behind it. Anytime I've gone camping. Actually, I can actually picture you getting really pissed off, like really frustrated, trying to put the sleeping bag back in the bag, bro. <laughs> why do I get, why can't I picture you getting so mad at that? I heard rustling in the bushes and I was in the car faster than you could blink. <laughs> I put my hammock up in my living room and opened the damn windows, thanks. Oh, see, I like that, Uber. That's what's up. My kids hate it. So a nice hammock Excellent. in the woods yeah. with a book and a couple of friends. I mean, yeah, if that's if that's the kind of night I'm looking for, sure. But that's all about my old life. Like my new life is okay. is different. Um, right? I'm gonna tell you this. Last time we went camping, we went a little late in the season. I ended up sleeping. Thankfully, we had an SUV, <laughs> so the seats fold down. Because I ended up sleeping on the back of the SUV because it was too cold out. So. That's cheating, right? You cheated. Correct. I guess I cheated, but you glamped. I'm alive. <laughs> you wouldn't gonna freeze to death. How cold could it have been? It was fucking hot. I, what, October, well, I would definitely would have died. <laughs> but, you... I went by a house just outside the Poconos area, and it has a lake on it. That's what I want. That's basically what he did. He's, he's tired of paying this fucking jersey rent. So you got a house out there, and there's like a nice little community. Like it's a gated area with a, it has like its own lake. So it's like kind of like a little beach area, a few pools. It got a lot of amenities there, you know. If I with it. I'm just trying to. I don't even need anything. I want. I just want a house and a lake so that I can uh, use it to vacate, like to just get away. Like it's you know yeah. like, you know you, so we live like the same distance for each of us, right? So what's it gonna take? What's it take like an hour, hour and a half, depending on travel? Yeah, uh, about two hours. Yeah. Okay. I haven't done it with kids. When I used to drive out to the Pokemon's without kids, maybe, maybe I drive like a normal. I drive. I used to drive pretty. Well, yeah, yeah. I want to get something out there because it's like it's not too far of a commute, and I want to stay in the Pocono area because I want to be able to like Airbnb it. People in the Pocono's will. Yeah, people will go there first. They go in the winter. They'll go skiing or snowboarding. There's a lot of stuff out there. Good investment and then when i retire it's like wow that's basically my jersey <laughs> yeah i can't imagine living there though living there 24 i mean i guess when you're retired it's fine but i don't know the only thing that sucks is like if you if you do stuff with family a lot it's like you come back you want to come see family it's like it's a two hour ride as opposed to in-laws or six brothers like a couple towns that you know i got family like all like all around here, so I like keep driving two hours to see people would be a little annoying. But I could happily live by no. <laughs> so, real quick, uh, I just got caught up in in this. Did you know that Happy Gilmore Two is coming out? Yeah, dude, they're, they're it's they're, it's official. They're, I heard it was rumored too. I I know it's official. 
I seen some shit where they were like doing. Some, I don't know if it was like a scam or not. I don't really care because I'm not interested. But Netflix they were uh, some link links for like uh, casting. Like cast. Yeah, the like casting yeah. for it. I guess they're okay. filming it over here. Netflix has yet to reveal Happy Gilmore two release date. Don't worry because everyone with the Netflix subscription will be able to watch it at some point soon. That's all it says. Happy Good Gilmore. Good. The major talent money. on top of a return of Sandler's unorthodox golfer. Sandler's making the press rounds, appearing on multiple podcasts to talk about the movie. He, he is. Oh no, so we get him on here. So listen, there's so <laughs> many fucking podcasts. Oh shit! I want. Oh, never mind. I can't talk about that yet. Um, there's so many fucking podcasts in the world that even huge podcasts, you just have no clue about them. Like all these famous. Athletes have their own podcasts. All these, yeah, there's there's so many podcasts out. There. There's so many, bro. Everybody. I mean, we have a hundred and fucking ten episodes of one. Huh? This um, what's his name? On from Fast and the Furious. Yeah, he's got he's got one. Called Cars and Coffee. Apparently, like real big in the. The Hot Tour girl just got one. Oh, yeah. bro, I was like, dude, with, like Jake, so... Jake Paul or something like that. Yeah, yeah, under his media company, I seen, but like, I'm so over this, dude. And you guys know, like, I was riding the wave for a while, dude. I thought it was funny. I loved the, the shit, but like, I'm tired of seeing it. Talk to her? You're tired of seeing yeah. her? Yeah, it's just, yeah, just, it just like over. One line. It was hilarious. She's, she's, she's a little firecracker and she's pretty. What do you mean? She's I don't pretty, know. I just, there's a lot of funny shit if you actually listen to her. I'm just tired of seeing it. I'm still... oh, oh, that's why they're showing Travis Kelsey in this. He has a cameo in it. Got it. So I don't, I don't know how we got off the sub- subject uh, onto Hawk t- uh, <laughs> Haley Welch, but I'm scrolling down this uh, Happy Gilmore tube thing, and all of a sudden I see a podcast uh, with Travis Kelsey, and that's why I said what I said about um, you know, Adam Sandler, uh, Adam, uh, the sports guys having their own podcast. Um, all the different sports podcasts because Travis Kelsey and his brother have a podcast. Apparently, he talks about it on there. So there's all kinds of fucking um information. It's just you know, there's so many places to get it from. They're also making a Stallone sequel with Cliffhanger. No way is he gonna be in it. There's no shot, right? What's he gonna do? Be climbing, climbing the mountains, or is he gonna be? I don't know, bro. You see, this this guy in freaking Expendables. He's all over the place. (laughs) Cliffhanger Two's official plot reveals that Gabe is now living in the Dolomites, where he runs an exclusive mountain lodge. When he and a high-profile client are taken hostage during an adventurous weekend trip, his daughter has to use his climbing skills to outwit the kidnappers, triggering a battle of life and death. So he's the one that gets rescued now. The update is not confirmed casting deals, but the plot suggests Gabe's What's daughter it? is with Jesse, his girlfriend in the first film. Michael Rooker is coming back as Gabe's best friend, Hal. That guy was a dick in that movie. I mean, I get why, but like he shouldn't have bring, he shouldn't have brought his girlfriend up there. She was not an experienced climber. Do you remember that scene? That scene terrified me as a kid. No, I don't even remember. It gave me an unnatural fear of heights. Like, it really did. That scene gave me an unnatural fear of heights, for sure. Um, the the plot where, they, like you said, like, where they reversed it, so now they gotta go save him. It reminds me of, uh, was it Taken and Taken 2? Or Taken 3? One of them, like, parents were kids. The daughter had to go. I thought the daughter and the mom both ended up dead in that shit. Taken? Yeah. Yeah. Taken. They but Liam dead. Nielsen? Like by the third one, I thought that the. Oh, maybe by the third one. I don't even. It was like, but like one of them, the first one was oh, the daughter got kidnapped. And I think the second one, the parents got kidnapped. No? Just the mom. Oh. oh. My God. Oh. So I would love to see cliffhanger too but it's gonna be he's gonna be playing like mick again like with creed like he's he, you know he he took the role of mick uh, he's gonna be playing the old man that flew the pilot like the pilot in this one 
daughter got pregnant and married a random dude. The fuck? The fuck's wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> the guy from Dumb and Dumber and the blonde guy from to have one together. The guy from Dumb and Dumber. What were we talking about? Oh, the podcast. The guy from Dumb and Dumber and the blonde guy from Grown Ups. What guy from Dumb and Dumber? Jeff Daniels? I mean, that makes sense. I don't think Jim Carrey would be. Okay. Jeff Daniels is a mo- is a huge actor, though. Like he's a gigantic, famously, and and like a, he's a huge actor. He's been an actor for forty years. Yeah, I know Mike Tyson's Hot Box. I've listened to that one. Um, and <laughs> I actually box. just saw, I actually just saw a video of him getting ready for the fight. I'm still I don't care how old Mike Tyson is. I really do think that he's so gonna. I don't think that Jake even hits him for some reason. Like, I, I feel like that. I don't know, man. Mike, Mike Perry. Is that still on for November? That's still on, bro. Mike Perry. We get it. It's like, is it November? For, no, November's next, after October. So we still got two months, but I lied. It's not the guy from Dumb and Dumber. He will destroy Jake, and I can't wait. I... I know for a fact that Mike Tyson is playing nice right now, and as soon as that bell rings, he's going to turn into Iron Mike, and it's a wrap. We have talked about this before, but the thing is... Many is that, of times. We've <laughs> been talking about this since the first fight, since the fight was supposed to happen in August. Instead, he fought Mike Perry, right? So he fights Mike Perry, and then um, Mike Perry doesn't even move. Oh, Dana Carvey and David Spade. I love that one. They're hilarious. They're hilarious. They were talking about... Dana Carvey has a huge bit on there about, uh, like, the vaccine and shit. It was so funny. He was doing an impression of Dr. Fauci. It was hilarious. <laughs> um, Speaking of podcast, the Bobby Lee podcast. I've seen that one, too, Bobby Lee. Yeah, I like Bobby, Bobby Lee's Lee. Tiger Belly. What's that? Tiger Belly. Uh, I forgot the name of the. That's what it's called, Tiger Belly. It is called Tiger Belly. No, I thought it was possible. I don't remember. The other white dude, the ginger dude. Oh yeah, you know that's your bad friends or whatever. Yeah, that's what that one. That's (laughs) friends. Yeah, they're shot, dude. They're funny as fuck. (laughs) They're so shot. Yeah, they're shot. They all got a couple of them. Brendan Schaub has got another one that's got a million fucking different shows on youtube now if you want to show you just need money and a youtube you just need a youtube following um I, i'm i'm down for I'm, this beetlejuice movie bro i it, i'm ready to go see it today but i didn't end up going i probably won't get to go tomorrow but like i'd be willing to go alone to see that i was supposed to go see it with my family but i don't think it's gonna end up happening that way um, you seen it today, Deadly? Did you really? I'm so jealous. Um, I've been meaning to watch Deadpool for you guys. Keep forgetting. Deadpool was great. Deadpool was great. Deadpool was great. If they don't give Blade a movie, apparently they canceled. Yo, I heard a they Blade canceled. Movie. I heard the they're going to do one. Do one, right? I heard that they canceled it, bro. The new wow. blade. I heard that they put they wrapped it. New blade movie with uh, already. I heard that they canceled it and they currently. I feel like I feel like Ryan Reynolds was trying to help a bunch of people out. He got he got Wesley Snipes been played. He's got Channing Tatum Gambit. But didn't he announce the movie? Oh, well, not didn't he? I guess Marvel announced the <laughs> next line of movie. I thought like, oh, there was there so long ago but the problem is is that it had a lot of uh what would you call it like delays it's delays they're saying it was going to be released in november 7th and now it's set for a 2025 release date so i'm telling you they can still cancel it Uh, i'm pretty sure i hope they follow through what and give us the movie yeah, I think they have to change the storyline because I mean the original pain was the king, so I I think whatever was initially like the storyline they have changed it. The last announcement. I think they dropped a ton of stuff because of anything that like had him 
tied to it, I think they dropped. Exactly. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they evolved all those movies based around him. That's usually what they always do, you know? So they have to change probably the whole storyline since now it's going to be Doom as the heel. Well, yeah, they, had to, and... they had to change all the shit with the Marvels, bro. All of them. The thing is, 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 and I, I don't know if I talked about this when we talked about Blade and, and uh, Wolverine. I mean, Wolverine and, and Deadpool, but that Wolverine is the the Wolverine from the from the timeline where uh, Khan was, right? He's the one because Khan kills all the fucking Avengers and shit, the X Men, I think. I think he kills the at least the X-Men. Which is that like the that's not the ninety set the seven X The reason I don't remember exactly, but the reason why I say that is because they were supposed to tie that movie into the the shit that they were doing with Jonathan Majors. Right? Because they're getting Khan's gone. They're writing him out, right? Like he's just gonna disappear. Yeah. Are they even gonna release the movie of the I don't even know if the, I, it was something a while ago, but they hadn't made decisions after like and the movie. I don't know how you, yeah, I don't know how you get canceled that bad that they don't even release movies they spent two hundred million dollars making. He killed see. that role too, man. So Disney will role. happily, from what I, from what I've taken note of, they will happily do. I feel like they'll bring it back, like maybe after whatever happens with Doom. Maybe Can't. he'll be the next big one, but I think maybe with a different actor at that point. Oh, for sure. That's what I feel like. King, Aunt Kong, Kang, Kang. Yeah, so. For future incarnation of the Fancy Four villain, Dr. Doom. A criminal from the year 3000 who had traveled back in time and conquered ancient Egypt, it was implied that he was a descendant of future incarnation of the fantastic war villain Dr. Doom. That's in the comic book stuff. Early appearances. Celestial one of the things, one of the things that drives me crazy is they have a bajillion stories for all these comics. And, oh. That's what we... But the oh, I... most... The multiverse is in the comics. Yeah, exactly. The comics pretty much tell you everything that the movies are so basically about. What I was going to say was, because um, I, I haven't seen Wolverine Deadpool, I don't know if it's even a good question to ask, but usually with the end of the movies, they always have like a cut scene. Was it like a cut scene at the end? I've, I've only watched it uh, on bootleg, so I don't know. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Usually the cut scene is kind of like the, the way to implicate Implicate that they can, like, what's the storyline. Yeah, what's you know? next? Yeah, or like who's like the big story? Like what's the build up of all these? They are intertwined one way or another. Pri- that's Pri- the, Pri- that's like the main indication. It's Marvel, so I think that that's it. There was, but it was a scene about a scene in the movie. Okay, that's a good way to put it. Not giving a spoiler right there. <laughs> Do they like put a like a, an old Stanley cameo in or like? Oh, seen shit. about a scene. No, yeah. I don't know if they did, but I just looked and Beetlejuice is on the site, so I think that I'm gonna have to watch that like right away. Let's go. We're gonna end the po- and he's like, I'll gonna edit back out here. You guys finish. You wanna know what <laughs> sucks, though? Is that I didn't want to watch it on bootleg, bro. I wanted to watch it at the movie theater. I just don't think that I have the patience to go, and I I fucking feel ashamed <laughs> that I won't go to the movies. Like I should, I should <laughs> be like expensive supporting. nowadays too, bro. It's just trash. <laughs> what is it called? Like, bro, I was like. gonna say because I do the same thing you do. Like I go, oh, I want to do this, and then like, how much energy? What what required to do? This? Kids between kids, food, all that shit. You should just stay home. We got a 10:30 show. We can make it. <laughs> <laughs> we can make it. <laughs> Let me see how much this shit costs. Gonna wake Gian up and roll. Twenty dollars. 
twenty dollars a ticket. Yeah. God, it is, man. Yep. Okay. I'm actually about Her. to look it up in my. What a ticket cost. That. And you want to get some popcorn, drink, and the candy and shit? Like another twenty dollars right there. No, you ain't doing that with me, Brian. We're going to the dollar store, the dollar twenty-five store. <laughs> bring in the, <laughs> we're bringing the. Bring in the. It is inside the clothes, right? <laughs> What does this mean? A lot of people I must believe be it. name three times because Beetlejuice is taking over the box office. The long-awaited sequel has made thirteen million dollars at the box office so far in Thursday previews. So just the day of Thursday, that many people went to go see it. That thirteen million dollars was made. So the horror comedy is ready to take over the box office. We got With an estimated one hundred million dollar opening this weekend. It's twenty-one dollars. <laughs> The film production budget was a hundred million. What? It cost a hundred million dollars to make that. I just I had so much more visuals. It was fifteen million dollars to make the first one. They had a lot of visuals there too, if you think about it. I think it looked crazy at that time. This shit literally came out the year after I was born. I'm gonna be thirty-seven years old. This. I'm going to be 37 on Saturday, by the way. This Friday. This this week coming up. Yeah, this week. What's today? It's this coming Friday. Friday. This week coming up. Yeah, next week. That's what I meant. Okay. So next Friday is my birthday. And then it's Saturday. Sorry. Let's go. But I really want to see this movie. And I don't think I can wait. I don't think I can wait. <laughs> this is the I angle of the light I was. Right here? Yeah, it's because of this amount not... of light is like perfect. I have to I have to copy this real quick and share it to Dingo because he was talking about I think he's probably asleep now. He's not on the call. But I uh I <laughs> Talking about Shia LaBeouf during the speech, and I said he was a cunt. <laughs> and and the reason why I said it was because homie was taking off his shirt today in Edinburgh, which is I would assume is in Germany, maybe Edinburgh, taking off his shirt in in a bar trying to fight someone. While we're talking about movies and movie stars, the new Joker has gotten a horrible review. The Joaquin wow. Phoenix one. Mm-hmm. Apparently, somebody watched it and did not like it at all. Let's see what they say. Joker. Folet et du. Is that how you say that? Folet et du? Or is it Dukes? No, right? Can't be. Du. It's got to be du. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Unconventional roles in that recipe for ten. As means the man erupted in Gotham City, burned. The prison gates closed behind a terrifyingly smiling Joker. This is how the Joker ended. Director Todd Phillips had no plans to continue Joker's story. However, the film had such a colossal artistic and commercial success that the decision was made to create Joker Two from the French madness. Oh, so that means madness for two. Joker Two, madness for two. Phillips opted for a musical convention, which brought in Lady Gaga to play the role of Harley Quinn. The director returned with the finished sequel to place where he celebrated his triumph five years earlier at the Venice Film Festival. This time he had little reason to be happy. Critics who watched Joker 2 in Venice accused Todd Phillips of focusing too much on recalling events from the first part, thereby failing to develop its own identity. The weak spot, the weak script does not allow Lady Gaga and Phoenix to showcase their full potential. Do you think being liberated from the comics meant Joker could blaze its own path, but the sequel, less musical, more root courtroom drama, is slavishly tethered in the first film and doesn't pursue its many ideas. It's not great. The Hollywood Reporter can muster more optimism. According to the review, Joker 2 is an extremely grim film, but scenes with Gaga Phoenix duo bring a lot of freshness. Gaga is a compelling live wire presence, splitting the difference between affinity and obsession while endearingly giving Arthur a shot of joy. I don't know how I feel about her being Harley Quinn. She's going to do a great job, but I just don't know how I feel about it. 
I mean, she's, she's kind of crazy the way she performs, so she could probably be um, good. It's, <laughs> it's just, I, 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 I am very critical of this, uh, of this Joker because it has nothing to do with the DC universe at all. I feel as if DC has dropped the ball. DC's fucked up. I mean, they're trying to rebound now, but they just, they screwed up, man. They, they it's they screwed up like time after time. It is, yeah, it is a mess. It is a colossal mess over there. Um, nobody. Well, I remember Black Adam was supposed to be like a thing that reset it and then. And then he ended it. up. Yeah. yeah. yeah he I mean, out. Black Adam wasn't even that good. No, 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 but it's not that he dipped out. They, they didn't pursue him. They didn't want to do it. They wanted to, didn't want to do it with him. Well, because Black Black Adams Black Adam was horrible. I mean, it really did not come in and, and save anything. It it kind of made it silly. Their magic is weak. What? I can't. I mean, I he can't. played it in Dwayne Johnson fashion. What's that mean? <laughs> it was pretty much The Rock. Dude. He only he can only be the <laughs> rock, right? Like <laughs> Holy shit. Oh man. I, I guess you're I mean, you're probably not wrong. I really can't picture him like being much different. What did we just say? What were we just talking about? Black Adam. Yeah. Black Adam. Black Adam. I'm gonna look him up. Because I don't remember that movie much. I saw it one time. Superman. Was Superman in that movie? I was about to say, he had like, no, the but... cussing at the end where like he was supposed to, like, he got into the storyline. So I thought like they were going to take there off There was with him, supposed to you know, be something. I remember Henry Cavill, like, they announced that Henry Cavill gave up, what is it, The Witcher, I think he was doing? Come back for a Superman role and then came the whole idea. And the rock of the same. Wow. And is, that, is that how it happened? I remember correctly. That's crazy. He said that I was when I watched Black Adam, I felt like I was watching him at Walking Tall. I remember that movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old one right there. What Walking Tall was like a the like, first... <laughs> uh, the rock. It was you like the Walking Tall but with superpowers. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> not wrong at all, actually. <laughs> Like, it's like like walking tall, but with... walking tall is when he like he went away to the military, and then came home back to like family's small town, and rich kid that he. Seen all oh, and shit. What is that? What are you talking about? What 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 we're talking about? Yeah, Johnny Knoxville. Scott. No. There's one he did with one Shaw William Scott too. We had to get him back from the jungle or some shit. Or some other no, I think it was uh Johnny Knoxville was like his buddy in that movie. I remember correctly. In Walking Tall. Walking Tall, I think. Oh, Walking Tall, yes. Yeah. The Rock and Johnny Knoxville, and then Sean William Scott was in Rundown, it was what it's called. Yeah, that's exactly that's what it's right. called. Yep. Sean William Scott, The Rock. That one, yeah, the rundown 2003. That movie was 23 years ago now. Holy, then, shit. then he played the two no. 21 years ago. That's a good movie, okay? I remember that one. Yo, no, he, I thought the pacifier was a, was a good movie. Then Diesel is a babysitter. I know, I'm thinking of Game Plan, actually. I never Game saw Man. that. Pacifier, That's really? Yeah, no, I, I remember it being in the movie store when I because I worked in a video store back in the day and. The Dukes of Hazard, and I feel like it was—I feel like it was the Dukes of Hazard and Mister and Mrs. Smith. Like those were right around the time that VHS tapes disappeared; they were gone after that. Because I remember Mister and Mrs. Smith was like the last movie on VHS. VHS. Mister, I think that was 2004. I think that was 2004. I was a Hollywood video type of guy. Oh, that's where I worked. Hollywood uh, video. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, yeah. Everybody oh, so was, yes, was, I was like, nope, Hollywood videos right down the street from me. That's where I went to all the time. 
2005. We had the um the MVP deals, bro. Could rent three movies at a time over and over again. I think movies and games. <laughs> Whatever the game box, came out. Remember when Redbox was? Redbox. I don't. Nah. Redbox is still a thing because it has no overhead once you buy it. Right, like once you buy it, you just gotta keep up with the movies. There's not a huge amount of overhead for that. But who is actually renting them now? People still get DVDs from the Red Box rather than just getting. I don't them even di- know have a even have a DVD. That's the only reason why I sold my PlayStation. In case I... Yeah, we have my Xbox One hooked up. Yo, I swear to God, there's a Redbox app now that makes even more sense. Oh, wow. Just digitally print the stuff. That's They're smart, though. Just, like, on their behalf. Reorder That's smart. your movie and, and like figure out where it's at and then just go. Maybe. Maybe that's what it yeah, is. Or maybe, maybe it's just renting movies on its app. Like, So there's this other app called Movies Anywhere that I use where you sign into all these different um places where you can buy movies and this puts them all in one place right so like if you got movies on amazon dango movies um you know microsoft movies on youtube right wherever you buy movies this will bring them into one place so you can look at all of your catalog there if if the licensing is but there's a lot of movies that aren't licensed from it you know so it's like you can't have everything like like whatever you whatever's on disney Plus, like, right. I know right. Disney's a motherfucker. Places. They are no fun. You know what? And and I guess Sony is. Too. I gotta get. But um, why is it like all the Spider Man's? Why are the Spider Man's always delayed? To Sony owns part of it, right? Yeah, I think they're they own the main <laughs> character, and then they just rent them. I think it's something like that. I don't actually know. I think uh, no. I think they own the villains. That's what it was. I think they own the villains. Maybe. Yeah. Like Venom. Because isn't Morbius a a, a a Spider-Man character too? Isn't that the same world? I'm not sure, but I'm just trying to think. You might be right because. He was in the Avengers movie. Problem. Under the, the Spider Man villain. No. Oh, right? yeah, not the Cause Avengers. It, they were in that new Spider Man movie. Yeah, they were uh, far from home. No, that's, right? no, but that's what I'm saying. So, like, uh, no way like home. that's why the Avenger movies probably hit Disney Plus, no problem. Spider Man movies. Is there three Spider Man movies? There is. There is. Yeah. The third one had all three Spider-Man. Exactly, like seven of them, eight of them, if you, if you want. To yeah, no, but I'm getting... saying, <laughs> one with, this, uh, uh, Toby, yeah, Spider-Man, then I think it's Far From Home, and then No Way Home. Those are the top three that I know. Those are... So wait, what was the first one of this trilogy? Spider... Uh, met the, spider, the Amazing Spider-Man, maybe, was the first no, one? No, that's, that's the second one. That's the no, second, that's the second one. one. Uh, Homecoming? Uh, Homecoming, that makes sense. Homecoming, Spider-Man, yeah. Homecoming, and then No Way Home, and then Far From Home. Oh, no, home. Far From Home, Far From Home was, yeah, and no, far, no Way Home, and No Way Home. Mm-hmm. Right. There is. There's three with Tobey Maguire. There's two with Andrew Garfield, and then there's three with. I like the Andrew Garfield ones. The fuck is his name? Tom Holland. Tom Holland. That's right. <laughs> um. And then, uh, from what I hear, they were going to make a Spider-Man with Toby. Um, that's what I heard, anyway. Well, he and was I in also, the third yeah, one. He was in the I third heard. one. They're I know. I have that movie there. again, too. All of them. Andrew Garfield, I know, too. I know all three of them were in the third when I saw it. What I'm saying oh, is okay. that... What I'm saying is that they were going to make a fourth movie. Like... Um, Toby timeline? A Toby timeline, yeah. Um... I don't know about those movies to know. Yeah, I think 
I'm laughing and there's, at there's the Miles Morales ones too. I don't I don't consider them. Yeah. It's supposed to be coming into the storyline too though. I don't consider them to be what like as a as an as a real character, not like connected real, to the animated. animated like a- I don't think the animated one. No, I think it has to be a real character. I don't know how they're gonna play that, but Secret Wars basically was will show all of them, even the Tobey Maguire Spider Man and Tom Holland. Supposed he's, be, he's supposed to be there too, like all of them. Maybe we'll see. I guess we'll see. I was like kind of hype. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hype for what I thought. Ironheart. What was that it's supposed to? Be? It's out, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. It was in the like they. I oh, think they like the girl that was in Black the Black Panther movie. It's supposed to be her, right? Isn't Ironheart the new, the new fucking? I thought it was supposed to be like the. Next iron. That was next iron. I thought Iron Man's daughter. Oh, but I thought it was weird. Like I think she's. Remember in uh, the last Black Panther, girl, the the girl that went to get from the college. College. The ending of it. Yeah, yeah the whole movie was kind of based on her. Based on oh, her. That... She was like, okay. Like a they went to the college. Uh. Black Panther's sister. Shuri. Shuri. Yeah, Shuri. Shuri uh, went to go get her from the college and she's like, they want to go. Whoever. I, thought that, I thought it was her that was supposed to be. Black Panther's own thing. She had built some shit that was similar to the... To... I don't see that one. And they showed that, well, not spoilers, because this movie's been out so long, but they showed that T'Challa had a son. Oh, so, that's right. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think then that whatever is going to be the next Black Panther is probably going to be based around him and Shuri, obviously. That was a good way to oh, end but I'll say too. for Ironheart, I thought, I thought that was just like the way they brought her into the timeline. But I don't know. Casey's frozen or looking at no, I'm looking at a message and now I got, there's a light on outside I gotta take care of, so I was just person ready. Got check, Bo, you got check. Gotta check. I'll, I'll check for you, don't worry. <laughs> Easy should have. Yeah, yeah. live and ready. ready to go. And um uh, yeah, man. Fuck, it's not on here. I got tricked. Got <laughs> fish? I got tricked. <laughs> yeah, I Good got fish. tricked. <laughs> All right, boys. Have a good All one. Right, guys. Later. Out of here, buddy.